Batman. All right, let's do the little mini review for the trailer for Titans. It's Titans. Yeah, I can't wait for Titans to come out. Jesus fucking Christ. They I'm I'm so disappointed in DC cuz they have no idea what to do with their their franchises. They have no idea. I guarantee you somebody at, at DC was like, we need to make a show that competes with Daredevil and Luke Cage and Jessica Jones and not so much Iron Fist because that show is not that great. But they got everybody together. We're like, fuck, we have to make like a show for that. Fuck Batman. How do we do it? Fuck Batman. Great. All right, here we go. We got Titans coming out. Now, this is going to be... Uh, God damn it. It makes me so sad. Because fuck Batman, right? Fuck Batman. F you know, all those times that Robin was like, fuck Batman? Let's do that. Let's do that in a show. I'm sorry. I thought Titans was supposed to be fun and interesting. Like, just fun and funny. Not fuck Batman. Because everybody complains that DC, DC's too dark, DC's too dark. And then they have Shazam coming out and people are like, why the fuck are they making Shazam funny? Why are they doing a comedy? Fuck DC. God fucking damn it. You can't please anybody, can you? But this shit, this just looks d not great. I mean, I can't, I'm going to reserve judgment on that until I actually see an episode, like see the pilot. But just based on what we've seen, let's break it down a little bit here. So you've got edgy Robin, fuck Batman, who works for, I'm, ass I'm assuming this is Dick Grayson, and he works for the Bloodhaven Police Department, which is cool. Like, that's actually a good idea. That makes sense. And from what I've read about him, he's he feels like he's been trained to be like this weapon unleashed on crime. So fuck Batman, right? So there's where the daddy issues come in. And then you got Hawk and Dove in there, who... Like, Dove, like, rips out somebody's, like, face? Cool. Yeah, remember that, like, Wicked Justice League episode where Hawk and Dove kill a bunch of people? Yeah, good, good job. Good job. Well done. Let me, this is for you. This one's for you. Now, the biggest problem that I think a lot of people are having, myself included, is, boy, does Starfire, Beast Boy, and Raven look like fucking dweebs? Like, it's pretty unbelievable. You've got... Let's look at Raven. Let's look at Raven. So, Raven here, Sweetheart Raven, looks like fucking Wednesday Adams. She's got this purple, shitty hair. I'm assuming they were like, let's give her purple hair because she has a purple cloak. Neat. Then why does Robin look like Robin? Why does Hawk and Dove look like Hawk and Dove? But then Raven... It just looks like a teen angst goth girl who, God, it's just so bad. Like, the, I hate the part. I hate the part in the middle of her hair. Now, I'm assuming that the villain in this show is probably going to be Trigon, because that's all that the Titans face. That and Slade. Oh, there you go. There's my knowledge of Titans. Uh, all right, so let's look at Beast Boy. Don't you love that hair? Neat. And his, I, I actually like the sweater that he wears because it is reminiscent. Now, you actually do see him turn green, which is good. That's good. But he should always be green. He doesn't He doesn't turn green and then into a beast. Uh, so that could be a problem. Unless he's just normal at the start and then gets his powers, maybe that'll happen. Uh, how he's going to handle the powers, I have no idea. I hope they do like a really shitty Animorphs kind of like transition and then he's just like a little green like cgi green mouse something stupid but now let's get to the meat of the problem meat of the problem starfire now i know i don't care that she's black i don't that's who cares you're not gonna make her orange that's fine, even though she's an alien from another planet, it would totally make sense to make her orange. But what the fuck do I know, right? Let's talk about that hair. Her fucking, mmm, that curly fries hair. Whoo boy. That, god damn. It's just so weird to me that you have cosplayers out there who have one one hundredth of the budget that an actual studio has. And they can do a better job 
with the outfits and the costumes and how the characters look. I don't get why studios that have millions of dollars of, of money in their budget can't get a fucking costume right. It's just, I, I don't get it. Like, at least with Daredevil, they got it right. Luke Cage, they got it right. Jessica Jones, they did their own thing with it, and I actually don't really like Jessica Jones. I think it's fucking 11 episodes of nothing followed by two episodes of something. But they did something different, and for the most part, it's it's passable. I can't even say it's passable, because I think Jessica Jones is actually really boring. Um, but back to Titans. See how much I don't even want to talk about Titans? I just don't want to talk about it, because it's just... It's just... It's just ugh. I can't even get a sentence out because it's so bad. It just I don't I can't even say it's bad because I haven't seen anything just based on this trailer. Fuck Batman, right? That's all I can say about this trailer is just fuck Batman. Where's Batman? Is Batman? Fuck Batman. Yeah, cool. All right, let's make Robin angsty. <sighs> why is this show? Why is this gonna be so dark? Why is this gonna be like Watchmen? It's Teen Fucking Titans. It's supposed to be fun and. They fight goddamn, what's the wizard dude's name? Mojo Jojo, or the fuck his name? I know that's not it. What's his name? The Great Kazoo, or some shit. Like, they fight, they, you know, it's not supposed to be all dark and fuck Batman. Fuck Batman. Fuck Titans. There you go. There's my review. Awesome. Can't wait to watch it. Fuck Batman.